Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota RAV4 TRD Off-Road. Now the most notable features on this TRD Off-Road is its heated and cooled front seats. You have your navigation system along with your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota RAV4 TRD Off-Road. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this TRD off-road is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. And then if we take a closer look just over on the side, you have your black style TRD wheels. And taking a look up top here, you also have the integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors. Taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just learning if there is another vehicle right beside you. You have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push it on once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. This is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're gonna be taking a look at today is gray. Now taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, as you can see, you have your black interior with your red accents with the red stitching. And taking a look on the headrest here, you're going to see it has TRD stamped right across it on both sets of headrests. And taking a look, you do have the power driver seat with lumbar support. Along with that, you have the automatic high beams, window wiper, de-icer, heat steering wheel, and power lift gate release. On the inside of the driver's side door, you have your mirror controls as well as your window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function as well as the volume control, voice recognition, Bluetooth, lane departure alert, mode select, seek function, and cruise control. It does offer the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a closer look just at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on there, which includes a digital clock with an exterior temperature gauge. You have your fuel economy on here and then you can also go through and take a look at your lane departure alert with your compass along with your audio, trip info, all-wheel drive. In the settings menu you'll find the lane trace assist, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, rear cross traffic alert and a couple of other additional features as well. You'll finish with your messages menu and then taking a closer look at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if you take a look inside the menu screen, you'll find your destination audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. With the apps menu, it's part of the Antune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Slacker app, which allows you to stream your music from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. Now, it is compatible with Apple CarPlay, and you do have the premium JBL sound system with the Sirius XM satellite radio on here. Hazard lights, dual zone climate control settings, track control on and off, heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings depending on how hot or how cool you'd like it. USB and a power outlet as well as your wireless charging pad, so once you have it turned on, you just place your phone on top and have it start charging for you. It's mounted to an automatic transmission, and as you can see, you have your Eco Normal and Sport with your mud, sand, rock, and dirt feature, and the snow mode with the downhill assist control. Up top, you're going to see your open and close, as well as the tail up and down feature for the power moonroof. SOS Safety Connect with your sunglass case holder. And taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there, making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. And as you can see, you can also change up the backup camera view to a more dynamic view or the traditional backup camera view itself. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, taking a look on the back of the tailgate, you're gonna find your backup camera just on your left-hand side and the rear hatch release located underneath your Toyota emblem. Push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now, as you can see, you do have a 60-40 split for the rear seat. So if you need more additional cargo space, it's available to you. You have the cargo cover in the back here as well, which is nice because you can cover up your valuables just while going from place to place. And as you can see with the TRD off-road, it does come with a cargo liner in the back, which is great because if you spill any liquids back here, it makes things a little bit easier to clean up afterwards, just because you can have it removed and clean up properly afterwards. 
Now, underneath the floor, you will find the spare tire as well as the jack and tool kit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. The other nice thing is that you can actually flip this piece over just in case the cargo that you are hauling is a little bit rougher on the carpet side. You can just flip it over to the other. If you want, you can also lower this piece down a little bit farther just in case you need a little bit of extra space. And the other nice thing is that you do have a power adjustable tailgate, so all you have to do is hold down the button for approximately two seconds that you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. A couple of uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter, or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.